Hi friends, welcome back to Oracle SQL and PLSQL group. Here I have come up with collection of interview questions that are frequently asking in CTS company. So here are the interview questions on PLSQL. So when I have attended the interview for CTS, that is Cognizant company, they have asked me so many questions related to both SQL and PLSQL. So here we go. So the first question is how many long columns are allowed in a table? And then other one is what cursor type do you use to retrieve multiple record sets? What is the normalization? What is an index and type of indexes? How many number of indexes can be used per table? How can we find the select statement is indexed or not? What are weight events? Describe the few weight event tables. How do you count number of rows in a table? When do you create bitmap indexes? And SQL query to get zero records from a table having n number of records. Write a function can return multiple values how give you example code that means here they are asking can function return multiple values or not if yes how that can be possible this is the question so and the other one is difference between nvl nvl2 and nvl if that means null if so here they are asking the difference between nvl nvl2 and null if functions and the next question is name salary they have given name and salary that is under name we have abc abc xyz under salary we have 50,000 50,000 and 20,000 so here the interviewer asked me to find the maximum salary using the aggregate function so this can be achieved by using group by and having classes and the next question is what are the difference between cursor and reference cursor Moving on to the next slide, what are the activities you do on daily basis in your project? Tell me the ratio of SQL and PLSQL and Unix. That means they are asking me to rate myself on SQL, PLSQL and Unix. Difference between primary key, unique key and not null. So this is a very simple question but the most frequently asked question. Primary key is nothing like the combination of both unique key and not null. That means primary key defines that the attributes are combination of attributes that are uniquely identifies a row or record in a relation is called as primary key. That means it is a unique and not null. That means it won't allow duplicate values and also null value. Whereas unique key, unique key will allow the null values but not the duplicate values. That means it will allow the duplicate, it will not allow the duplicate values but it will allow null values. When you say not null, not null, that means the name itself says it won't allow null values. The next question is what is the use of view? So this is a, this is also a main important question. So what is mean by use in the sense, what is the use of view in the sense, view is mainly used for security purpose. So you have to cover this point when you are explaining to your interviewer. The next one is if the table is dropped, then what happened to view? What is index type of indexes? Which function are not supported to index? What is save point? What is Oracle error 1555? So they are asking uh, when we get this this error ORA that means Oracle error error 1555 and what are the data types available in PLSQL not in SQL? So here they are expecting you to explain the data types those are available only in PLSQL but not in SQL what is the main use of type and row type what is the cursor and types of cursors difference between explicit cursor and for loop cursor what is the exception and type of exceptions so once you explain what is exception and type of exception immediately you will get a question like what is rise application error so moving on to the next slide what is pragma exception in it difference between trigger and procedures 
can you call procedure in select statement restriction in functions what is the use of packages how to draw package body only can you use pragma autonomous transaction in package what is the bulk collect what is the null if what is mutating error what is the modules you are working which will fire default first statement level or row level trigger what is the bulk collect and any restrictions in bulk collect what is the use of limit class in bulk collect how to debug your code how to trace error handling how to find which inline error was raised what are the methods there in save exceptions what is functional based index what is syntax so friends these are the list of interview questions that are frequently asking in cts interview so few of my friends have attended the interview for cts cognizant company so i have discussed with them and i have collected the, all the interview questions they were faced in interview and i have put together here so friends please subscribe to my channel for latest latest videos and latest interview questions for all the mnc companies so please <coughs> please watch my next video i will be uploading a video to give answers to all of these questions so for knowing the answers of all these questions please do subscribe to my channel and do watch my next video thank you thank you for watching this video thank you friends